Yeah, I got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. No dad wants to see this when they go to school to see that son. Check this video out. That could be the first and last time I see you do that, please. Take, take that off. Take, take that off immediately. Oh, here. I'll help you. I'll help you. Take it off. Take it off. And, and you guys never ever let my son put a dress on. Ever. Okay. Ever, ever, ever. Okay. You understand me? Like, right ever. Like, ever. No problem. No problem. No worries. You gotta, gotta do that. First time and last time. Yeah, first time and last time. Ever. Ever. Women. Yeah, I despise women. <laughs> Despise them. I give a pass to the conservative women. They got brains. <laughs> yeah. Did that, that sound wrong? No, I love women. I despise liberal women. They're not liberal. They're progressive. Whatever. Liberal, every, I, every woman on the left, I despise them. They just, yeah, they're progressive. The liberal woman is actually okay. Progressive. Well, liberal and progressive is totally two different things. Yeah. Liberal and conservative is almost like this. Yeah, right. uh, Clinton. This, Clinton was a liberal. Yeah, Bill Clinton. He was an old school liberal. Yeah, I voted for Clinton, man. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I ain't even getting it. You that. did too. <clears throat> All right. So, but anyway, I believe what he said. He didn't have relations. With him. <laughs> I did not have relations. Yeah. All right. So, uh, California came out with this new law. Pull up this article. Hey, man. Uh, Eli, hey, hey, can you before you get to that? Um, yeah. Um, if that was my kid, oh man, I ain't gonna even say what I was gonna do. I was gonna turn it to what's that that thing, the Tasmanian Devil? <laughs> that cartoon that <laughs> 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 Oh shit! That whole classroom tore pieces. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all. Uh, Tasmanian Devil, yeah, I remember that. Remember cartoon, I man. know that Tasmanian Devil. That was a Republican right there. <laughs> all right, but anyway, um. So Elon Musk, he's moving uh, SpaceX from California because of this new California law. Let me mm -hmm. read the article. Go down. This is why he's leaving California. Elon Musk announces SpaceX will move from Hawthorne, California to Texas in, prot in protest of a new state law barring schools from notifying parents about children's gender identity changes. Yeah, they're actually treating your children like they are. Pro they're like they are they take over. Yeah, they take yeah. over your kids as if yeah. they're the parents. The government sees your children as their child. That they are the parents. They get yeah. the high things from from their biological parents. That is like, that is like crazy. It's nuts. Actually, that's California. Yeah, the Democrat brand is so twisted. I don't know how the elections are even close anymore. You know why? I really don't. You know why? Women. And, and, and the thing about it's not women, just women. The thing about women, they have the capacity to think. Rationally. Yeah. And that's the other demographic of people too. Now some people I don't think they have the capacity. Uh, people can be manipulated. Man, I'm out here throwing jokes, man, throwing shade at people. You didn't even catch What you on. say, Kevin? I said women have the uh capacity to think I, rationally. Yeah. The other group of people don't have the capacity. Of throwing shade. <laughs> you didn't you didn't Well that, that 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 group you throwing shade at, uh -huh. black men could actually vote before white women could. I still don't understand what the white man was thinking. <laughs> hey, Kevin, stop joking. <laughs> stop, stop joking. It's that like, was a good one, though. <laughs> stop joking, That was though. a good one, boy. But anyway, um, I still got it. Yeah, you still got I it. I need to go back on the road again. Hey, but uh, Elon Musk, man, he just had an interview with Jordan Peterson. Yeah. And I had no idea, idea that this happened to him. If it could happen to him, it could happen to all of us. Yeah. So check out this video is that um, almost every child goes through some kind of identity crisis. Um, yeah, it's you know, part they, of puberty. Exactly, it's just part of growing up. Um, if, if, so it's, it's very possible for, for, for adults to manipulate children into, who ha are having a, a natural identity crisis into believing that they are the wrong gender. Yeah. Um, pause it, pause that. Yeah, and parents, even if the child's not having an, an um, identity crisis, the parents can still manipulate that kid into having one. And in California, it don't, it, can't, it don't even have to be the parents. It could be your teachers. Yeah, they can introduce uh, an identity crisis. Yeah. All right, keep going. That, and, 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 that, and that they need to be uh, uh, the other gender, 
or you need, they need to avoid or boy needs to go be a girl, or, you know, and and that the and then that will solve all their problems. And that will solve their problems, and uh, and and then they uh, give them sterilizing drugs, uh, which are called also a misnomer, pu puberty blocker. Uh, these are sterilization drugs, uh, so they can never have children again. Yeah. Um, they uh, can have mas double mastectomies. Mm -hmm. It's macabre. Um, and um, I mean, we, we have an age of consent for a reason. Mm -hmm. That the reason um, you can't get, say, tattoos below age 18, or um, drink, or drive. You know, there's, there's there are ages at which you can do things because uh, if we allow. It, it, children to, to, to take permanent actions uh, when they're um, 10, 12, 14 years old, they, they, they will do things that they subsequently greatly regret. Yes, I've interviewed a couple of people who've done exactly that, and it's right. painful. So, um, so I think you, 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 you and do, doing... Why are you willing to make this an issue, do you think? Uh, I mean, well, it's it, sort it, it of like the to one of my, issue. It happened to one of my, my older boys, um, uh, where I was, um, I was essentially tricked into uh, signing documents uh, for one of my older boys, Xavier. Uh, this was before I had really any understanding of what was going on, and there, we had COVID going on, and so uh, there was a lot of confusion. Um, and, um, you know, I was told, oh, he, you know, Xavier might commit suicide if, if he that was a That was a lie right from the outset. No reliable clinician ever believed that. There was never any evidence for that. And also, if there's a higher suicide rate, the reason is, is because of the underlying depression and anxiety and not because of the gender dysphoria. And every right. goddamn clinician knows that, too. And right. they're too cowardly to come out and say it. Right, and so that, and then we end up in exactly, when, when I saw that lie start to propagate, it just made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. It's like, I see, so you're, you're telling parents that unless they agree to this radical transformation that their children are gonna die, and you think that's moral, and you think that's true. That's so pat, that is so pathological that it's almost incomprehensible. I can't imagine anything worse of, I can't imagine a therapist doing anything worse than that, or sitting by idly and remaining silent while his colleagues are doing it. It's pathetic. Uh, it's it's uh, incredibly evil, and I agree with you that people that have been promoting this should go to prison. Uh, I, it won't stop till that happens. Yeah, it'll just go underground. There's all puberty blockers are being accessed online by kids all the time through non-medical channels. So yeah, right. it's not going to stop. Yeah. Okay, so I see. So that's so I was I was straight into doing this, um, and. Uh, you know, it wasn't explained to me that puberty blockers are actually just sterilization drugs. Um, so, um, anyway, uh, and so I lost my son, essentially. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I... All right, I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead. Killed by the woke mind virus. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I can't imagine what that would be like. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, and there's lots of people in that situation now. Right. It's not pretty, and lots of demolished kids. Yes. Yeah. So, well, that's a good. That's a good reason to be the final straw. All right. So let's. So I vowed to destroy the mind, the woke mind virus after that. So that's more or less the reason why uh, Elon decided to leave California when yeah. California introduces, in, introduced this law and uh, Gavin Newsom mm -hmm. signed it in the law. I can't believe actually people actually voted for this. I, I don't know. Like I don't know how to get past the American people in California. Did they? I don't know. Well, this is why uh, politics is now like a, a like a team sport. Nobody actually listens. They just want to push for their team. That is from their Democrats team versus Republic. yeah. Republicans. Nobody's like Democrats are not even listening at this point. Democrats can say whatever. Like I give you a perfect example. When Trump was in office and the uh, the the shot was coming out. Oh, I ain't taking Trump's uh, 
shot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when Trump was out, oh, you, ooh, uh, as soon as Biden and Harris said, go take it, they went out and took it. Right. And then the people who didn't take it, they used it against them. Right. Saying they were super spreaders and they're going to. Yeah, it's stupid. Hey, you know what? Uh, that's how you get rid of, uh, that's how you read the uh, planet of the woke mind viruses. Uh, you bankrupt them. You know, take all your business out of California because uh, yeah. I'm sure Tesla, um, SpaceX, that's hundreds of millions of dollars in tax revenue that is wiped away from California. I used to live in California. Don't you remember? They was filing bankruptcy at one point. Yeah. That's a broke state. Yeah. But for all those tax dollars, they still broke. Yeah. Yeah. But that's how you get rid of that. You bankrupt them. Take well, all your you business. can vote them out. You can vote, but. Nah, those some vegetables in California. I mean, that whole state is red. It's just those dumb Negroes in Los Angeles, San Francisco. Hey, <laughs> why do you keep playing with just them? Because they voted 90% clip. Yeah, I, I, I hold I hold black people more accountable to the stupid to the stupidity because they should know better. Yeah, uh, of all the things black people went through this country and they and they still have an open eyes. You don't trust the system. You don't trust the government, and they keep voting <clears throat> over and over for bigger and stronger government. Yeah, I don't get it. And you know how I feel about women. I mean, he's just as bad as a Negro. <laughs> You're talking about progressive women. Yeah, progressive. That happen to be people of color and women. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of you seen the I, white progressive that, woman? That sounds Hold good. up. Have you seen the white progressive woman? That's a whole nother species right there. They just as bad. They empower the black progressive women. They use women. the colored people for uh for muscle. Yeah. Yeah. That's they get good. them all they get them all riled up. They race. <laughs> ah! Oh, they, they, mm, and they go to the vote post. Yeah. But the black man has not figured out that he's just being manipulated. See, the reason why I vote conservatives is because I want the government to stay out of my life and stay out of my pocket and protect my rights. That's the only and reason I why keep... I vote. I don't want anything from my government. Stay away from me. Yeah, and we want the country going in the direction it's going. Yeah, protect true, the borders. Yeah, true equality, though. Protect the borders. When I hear people say trans rights are equal rights, no, it ain't. Trans rights are preferential rights because you yeah. give people... Hey. I ain't going to even get into that. Yeah, but yeah, I just want to keep the uh, I want to keep the country going in the direction that Martin Luther King wanted us to have. Yeah, just I mean, uh-huh. real equal equality, <laughs> not preferential treatment. Yeah, real equality, and Democrats are not for that. They're about preferential rights. They're mm-hmm. about affirmative action. They're about yeah. I mean, just they're I about mean, crazy town. Yeah, think about this. We shouldn't use the ID to vote because. Black people don't have access to IDs. We can't get IDs because we're black. Joe Biden said what? What'd he say? You don't vote for me, you ain't black. <laughs> so what I y'all, mean, I mean, what, hey, is, what y'all, y'all, y'all want us to believe when black people trying to get an old die, uh, ID, uh-huh. they go to that store wherever you go get IDs that says no color allowed. <laughs> is that what y'all saying? Because I haven't seen any of those places. Well, I, they say black people ain't got no money to get an ID. I believe that they broke as hell. It's a wage gap in this country. They are the lowest. Shut the up. Black people, what are you talking what are you about? Talking about? I got facts to back that up. What you talking Black about? Black people fact? are broke as Democrats. I get Democrat. that, but they got money to get an ID. They broke, though. They, they, they broke. Okay, they broke. I get it. Yeah. I get it, but they can still get IDs. Yeah, if they, they stop buying them 40s and them switch sweets, yeah, they can go. Man, what's wrong with you? You are always cracking jokes. Huh? I'm just saying, I use but, satire. Wait, wait, who, who are you, no, Uncle Ruckus? Who you think I am? You Uncle Ruckus now? No, no, I use satire. Uncle Ruckus, everybody. All you got to do is pop one of them damn eyes off no, your head I'm and using, look all crazy in here. No, I'm using satire, right? Yeah. To criticize. That's all I'm doing. It's satirical. It's satire. Yeah. Yeah. But you you upsetting them. They really ain't voting. I know they're at the house. Ah, 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 I can't stand them. <laughs> I'm trying to get your attention, but you know I am a hey, harsh. Hey, hey, and y'all, I am a AK. Hey, keep don't cut uh, me no, off. I'm cutting you off. No, I'm a bit harsh, and I'm a bit blunt when I do these things. You know what? You right. I need to apologize to these people. Yeah, apologize. I'm on your side, but you're stupid. You need to wake up. <laughs> so you build them. You build them up. Then you turn right back. Turn right back down. <laughs> and the more I break them down and build them back up, the stronger they get. Yeah, and you know what? Um, Democrats are so deceitful. 
Look, Kamala Harris is the Democrat nominee, right? And what is she? She's a black woman. She's not even black. She's, her she dad, doesn't her, have an ounce hey, of African blood in her. Let me not talk, an ounce. Well, her dad's Jamaican. That's not Africa. Yeah, it's I know. Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. He has, she has zero African in her. Well, let me, let me, let me say something, Kim. We're going to say, Keith. Like, um, get your arm off of me. Hey, man, stop patronizing me, too, man. <laughs> Let no. me say something, Kevin. Let me say something. <laughs> like, okay, Kamala's parents, just to break this down, her mom raised her. Yes, she had like a Jamaican daddy with black blood in him, but he looks like me. He left too, didn't he? Right, he left. They divorced. Guess who raised her? Her Indian mother. No, he black. And she raised him to be Hindu. He left. Indian, I heard it. She, she... She's been raised in an Indian culture. Man, that woman. Grew she up married with... a white Jewish guy. Yeah, that she's woman... not. She the only time she's black is when she's running for election. I guarantee she walk away from politics. She's no longer a black woman. She's now an Indian woman. That's how she's always yeah. presented herself. But just to show you the ploy of Democrats to use race, she's not even black. Yeah, gaslighting you. Like my kids, my. Stop touching me. Like. Kamala's dad is bought like I am, about 50-50, right? Like, my kids got that DNA check because my wife is uh, Hispanic. Native. Native. She's Native American. My kids got like 20% black in both of them. That's crazy, man. That, that black gene, man. So how, my point is, how black do you think Kamala is? Her dad look like me, and her dad's Indian. She's not black. Her dad's what? Her dad, oh, her dad is Jamaican, right? I thought you said his dad was it. You said you misspoke. What'd I say? I don't know. You need to calm down. I know that. You said her dad's Indian. Her dad was Jamaican. No, her dad's Jamaican. Her dad's like me. That's what I said. A light-skinned Jamaican, too. Right? And her mom is 100% Hindu red dot Indian. <laughs> my point is, my kids are like, yeah. I'm mixed. Kamala's dad is mixed. And now I'm mixing them with some Mexican. <laughs> and now her dad, Kamala's dad, is mixing with all this Indian. My point is, my kids are like 25% on their ancestry. What kids trying to say? Hey, let me finish. Hey. So how black do you think Kamala is? She bought, man, she bought a 15% Negro. <laughs> oh, she's black woman. She's black woman. She, they just she tell me all that. Hey, you black woman, you naive, hey. ignorant, just stupid. She don't even hang out with y'all. She don't talk like y'all. She don't wear wigs like y'all. She don't dress like y'all. How many of y'all, hey, black women, how many of y'all's boyfriends are white and Jewish? She's not black yeah. at all. I've never heard of a white woman, I mean, a, a black woman marrying a white Jewish guy. I'm sure it happens. I'm sure it too, but who cares? And then when she's asked, what is she? She said, I'm just an American. She only claims the black in her when she's running for office because she's a Democrat. Yeah. I'm tired of talking about this. Show's over. Show's over. It's time to give up our new giveaway. It's a Dodge Ram power truck. And we about to do something we ain't never did before. It's a camper. Not only you get a brand new truck, you get a camper with it too. And 10,000 in cash. Hey Keith. Yeah. We've given away over $2 million in trucks and cash and prizes. We give them back to the people who support us. Instead of giving money to Facebook to advertise this stuff, yeah. they censored us anyway. So I said, you know what? Incentivize our own people to already support us. It's a win-win for everybody. Go to officialhawktwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically. End of the win. Yeah. No purchase necessary. Board were prohibited. See official rules for details. Yeah.